in the mercies I see. Praise the Lord. Great is thy mercy towards me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ade de brada gado shatara kade. Ha prado satara de reke de prakada brashe te reke de. Il pararando rogo do satara prakada ragade. Oh, thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords. We give you praise. Receive all the glory, Daddy. I show appreciation this morning. Your word says that weeping endures for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Father, your word says that your mercies are new every morning, and great is thy faithfulness. I thank you, Abba, Father, the one that reigns in eternity. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. God bless you. You're blessed and highly favored. So this morning, we will talk about mercy. Mercy, mercy. The mercy of God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. And so... I had to go through the scriptures. There are so, so many scriptures about mercy from Genesis to Revelation. Hallelujah. You will be amazed how many scripture, um, what the scripture has to say about mercy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But this morning, the one that struck out for me, if you come with me to Psalm number 102, verse 13, this will be our key scripture for today. Praise the living Christ. Come with me to Psalm 102, verse number 3. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Psalm of David. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm number 13, verse number 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time is come. I'm reading from King James Version. And I had to go to another translation, this time New Living Translation. It says, You will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem. And now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you promised to help. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's all saying the same thing. That God will arise and have mercy upon Zion. You and I are the Zions. We are the Jerusalem here. You hearing me. You listening to me. God is saying that this is the time. He will show you mercy. Not only mercy, the set time to favor you is now. It's not tomorrow. It's not the next minute. It's not the next hour. It's now. The now miracle. The now mercy. Glory to God. And if you go through the scripture, you would um, see so many scriptures about mercy. Come with me to James chapter 2, verse number 13. The scripture says that mercy will triumph over judgment. Hallelujah. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been. Judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Therefore, mercy overrides judgment. Judgment of the enemy. Glory to God. And now we're going to ask that question. What actually is mercy? Hallelujah. It's it's interesting that the word mercy derives from the medieval Latin word mest or merces, M-E-R-C-E-S, which means price paid. 
Hallelujah. It blew my mind. So you see, mercy is the compassionate treatment of those in distress, especially when it is within one's power to punish or harm them. Glory to God. Take, for instance, in the world we are today, when you are summoned um, in the court of law, hallelujah, the judge has the power to sentence you or to acquit you or to just show you leniency. Glory to God. That's mercy in the, in the, in the, in the world we live in. But we will look at word mercy scripturally. Glory to God. When you have the power to punish, when you have the power to oppress, when you have the power to, to harm someone and you choose not to, now that's mercy. Glory to God. You see, mercy is a compassionate, like I said, treatment of those in distress, especially when it is, when it is within your power to punish or harm them, but you choose not to. Now that's mercy. Most people would think when you think about mercy, you think about forgiveness. You think about being acts of benevolence. You think about being kind. But it will shock you and I what Bible defines mercy as. It will shock you how Bible defines mercy beyond forgiveness and withholding punishment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, you and I know from Scripture that mercy is undeserved and is for both believers and unbelievers, sinners alike. Hallelujah. If you go to, come with me to Luke chapter 1, verse number 50. Hallelujah. Scripture says his mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. To those who fear him, you and I, the believers, those who are the called, he extends mercy to us. So mercy is both to believers and to unbelievers. If you go to Psalm 51, he talks about mercy. When David cried out to God, when David sinned, the Bible says he cried out to God for mercy. And that is recorded in Psalm 51. Very familiar scripture. Now, that's to somebody who is returning to God. That's to somebody who has wronged God, who has sinned. And coming back to God, God shows mercy. But for us that are believers in the faith, mercy is a resource, is a tool. There's one prayer that you as a believer can never go wrong praying is prayer of mercy. Praise the living Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So mercy is so undeserved. You and I don't deserve mercy, the mercies of God. That's how God knew that the world was in distress. The whole mankind is in distress. Hallelujah. The whole mankind is in distress. And thus, he wanted to remedy the situation out of mercy. For the man he created. And so he sent Jesus, the, his son, his only son, to come down and die for you and I. Now, if that is not mercy, I don't know what else it is. And that is salvation. The shedding of the blood brings us that mercy. Hallelujah. So mercy in other words, is the compassionate treatment of those in distress. It is that fruit of compassion. And I would like to call it a now in action. Look, if you go to the scripture, we know of the story of a blind man called Bartimaeus. This man was in deep distress. He was in deep distress, but he knew his miracle he will, he, will, he will receive his miracle when he encounters Jesus. And the Bible says he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. He did not say, oh, heal me. Let me re regain my eyesight. No, he did not. 
He cried out for mercy. He knew that what he needed at that juncture was the mercy of God. He was humble enough to recognize that the only thing he needs that could take him out of the situation is the mercy of God. And the Bible says, when he cried out loud, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He got the attention of our Lord Jesus. And that's how this man encountered his miracle. So blind Matthias was in deep distress, and so is all of us. Glory to God. Will you be humble enough to cry out for mercy? Even if you don't have any prayer point, let it be a prayer of mercy. When you're in that situation, when you're in that dilemma, when you're facing those challenges and you do not know what to pray about, pray for mercy. It worked. He worked for blind Bartimaeus. He caught the attention of the Lord. Blind Bartimaeus did not start baka, baka, baka. He didn't have any other prayer point but prayer of mercy. He was actually, he knew he needed God's mercy for his miracle. And he caught the attention of the Lord. Glory, glory to God. So, that takes me to one of the attributes of mercy. God shows his mercy for those who are suffering through healing. I just talked about blind Bartimaeus. We know about the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus performed all sorts of miracles during his earthly ministry out of mercy, out of compassion. He came to bring comfort to the people. He came to alleviate the suffering of the people. He cared for people in distress. He cured all manner of diseases. He cast out demons. He did, all, he did all kinds of work out of his mercy. He's rich, rich, rich in mercy. And so people would easily confuse mercy and compassion. Though both are intertwined, but they're not actually the same. Glory to God. Mercy is the fruit of compassion. And it's a gift given to someone who is suffering by someone acting with compassion. Compassion. Glory, glory to God. However, compassion is to recognize the suffering of others and then take action to help. Let me say that again. Compassion, however, is to recognize the suffering of others and then take action action to help. Remember scripture says faith without action is dead. Glory to God. Bible talks about Bible talks about um, Bible talks about how the Lord Jesus had compassion on the crowd. He had crowd. Crowd always, always flood to Jesus to hear him speak. To hear him preach. Glory to God. And the Bible recorded how people were with Jesus for days. And scripture says, the Lord looked at the crowd and had compassion. Glory to God. He felt concerned. Oh, these people have been with me for three good days or so. And now I have fed them spiritually with the word of God. But they are tired in their physical body. I can see them hungry. They are hungry. They need food. Bible says he had compassion on them. And what did he do? He fed them. That was an act of compassion. Jesus had compassion on the crowd. He fed them. Glory to God. Glory to his living Jesus. Hallelujah. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. There's nothing that the mercy of God cannot do for you. And I, like I said, is a resource tool for believers. When you are at your wit end, when you don't know what to do, when you are distressed, you're confused, the enemy is throwing arrows at you, whatever arrows, afflictions, arrows of unbelief, arrows of sickness, arrows of disease, 
arrows of demotion, whatever arrows, arrows of barrenness, whatever it is, you go to God in prayer, prayer of mercy. He said he will arise and show mercy. Glory to God. The enemy is always an accuser of the brethren. He's always accusing believers. But mercy, mercy through the blood of Jesus will acquit you, get you acquitted from every leveled accusation of the enemy. It doesn't matter what, you, what, what life you've lived. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your foundation is. Scripture says if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous can use the mercies of God, employ the mercies of God and pray that prayer of mercy. You can never, never go wrong with mercy prayers. Remember the scripture says that God extends his mercy to those who fear him from generation to generation. So how a lot of people say, talk about in, in, in spiritual warfare, in a deliverance ministry, in a uh, uh, um, warfare, people talk about ancestral curses, people talk, talk about foundational curses, people talk about all kinds of things. Glory to God. But the mercy of God overrides all this. Remember the scripture says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You have been redeemed by the covenant blood of Jesus. The blood that gives us mercy. The blood that atones for sins. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. But we have to show kindness. Glory to God. Matthew 5, 7. Matthew 5, 7. The word of God is talking about blessed are those that show mercy, for they will obtain mercy. You can't give what you don't have. You have to show that work of mercy. You have to show kindness to people. It doesn't cost anything to be kind. It might be your words. It might be your words of encouragement. It might be you giving listening ear to that brother, to that sister in problem, that have problem, one issue or the other. It might be your kind words that will put a smile on somebody who is in distress, somebody who is like, encountering any difficulties, problems. So we, sh as Christians, should always look out for opportunities to help others, to show mercy, to show kindness, empathy. Empathy is the word. We have to show empathy. You, we can't go about unconcerned about people's problems. But not to your own detriment anyways, because that would be foolish mercy. We we'll have to be concerned about other people's welfare. Glory to God. And in that way, when you open your mouth and pray, prayer of mercy, when you're in a situation and you call on God and say, God, show me mercy. God, show me mercy. Then you have a track record. You have something, an act of kindness or mercy or compassion or empathy that is speaking for you. Don't harden your heart towards people's needs. That's the message. That's the bottom line. So when you call on God for mercy, he will show up. Because his mercy is always available to you and I. Glory, glory to God. Praise to the living Jesus. And so we're going to pray. There are so many scriptures on mercy. If you want to dive into what the word of God is saying concerning mercy... I implore you to search the scriptures. I have tons of them. I have tons of them. It's all over. Matthew 5, 7, Psalm 145, 8 to 9, the book of the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 36. You have Ephesians 2, 4 to 5, James chapter 2, verse number 13. Romans chapter 9, 15 and 16 verses. 
First Chronicles sixteen thirty four. You have Lamentations three. Twenty two. Twenty three. He says, I will show mercy upon whom I will show mercy and compassion upon whom I will show compassion. God does not show favoritism at all. Glory to God. Hebrews chapter 2, seven, verses 17 to 18. Hallelujah. You have Second Samuel 24, verse number 44. 1 Chronicles sixteen thirty four. First Peter 1 3. A lot of scriptures. You have Isaiah 30, verse number 18. Glory to God. And so now we're going to humble ourselves in prayer. Open up your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The scripture for the day we're going to be praying with is Psalm 102, verse number 13. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time is come. Hallelujah. The time, the timing, the timing to favor her. God will arise and show us mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, open your mouth. Begin by thanking God for his mercy. Adu badigada, kadu adigada, maku adi aprakate, kasunde azubra digada. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your mercy. Your word says, your mercies are new every morning, and great is thy faithfulness. Lord, I thank you. I judge thee faithful. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for your mercies that are readily available to me. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for your mercies. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Ask him to show you mercy. Whatever it is, whatever, wherever you are in your journey of life, mercy is available. Thank him. Thank him. Acknowledge that he, his mercies are new every morning. His mercies are renewed. I do adhika that his mercies are available. Thank the Lord. Thank him for the blood of Jesus. I do aprakato satarakata. Rekedo satarabashinte terekete. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you because I know you will not leave me nor forsake me. I thank you for your mercy that are new to me, that are new every morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, thank you for your mercy. Open your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Thank the Lord for his mercy. It is pleasing to him to know that you know that his mercy is available. That his mercy is a resource for you. It is pleasing to him that you are acknowledging by thanking him for his mercies. Glory to God. So I don't want you to uh, withhold your own blessings. Open your mouth. Begin by thanking God. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Open your mouth. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. I thank you, dear Lord, for your mercy that are readily available for me. Thank you, Lord. Show me mercy. I do prakata. Reke tosa tarakata. Now that you have thanked him for his mercies, I want you to begin to ask God for mercy. Ask for mercy. Ask God to show you mercy. It doesn't matter where you are in your Christian journey. Mercy. Mercy cannot be over pray mercy prayer. Glory to God. You cannot. Zaku prakata. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Whatever it is that you have done that you are not so proud of. Ask the mercy of God to wipe away every allegation, every accusation of the enemy, the mercy of God, overrides judgment. I need you to open your mouth and ask God to show you mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me your mercy. Lord, show me your mercy. I do adigada. Mercy, Lord. Lord, show me mercy. Maziga do brakata. Show my family mercy. Kadi Lord, we plead for mercy. Bible talked about blind Bartimaeus. Scripture says he cried out. 
Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus, after the order of blind Bartimaeus, we cry out for mercy. We plead for mercy this morning. Lord, show us mercy in the name of Jesus. We cry out to you. We plead for mercy after the order of blind Bartimaeus in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and plead for mercy. Cry out for mercy. Be humble enough. Bible says a broken spirit and a contrite heart, thou God will not despise. Zale Adubrakata, Lord, we humble ourselves this hour. We ask for mercy. I ask you for mercy, Lord. I ask for mercy, Lord. Show me mercy. Show my family mercy. In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth. But adventure, there's anyone. The Holy Spirit puts in your mind who is suffering, who is afflicted, who is in distress. Just about anybody, I need you to open your mouth and intercede. I need you to open your mouth and plead for mercy on behalf of that individual, that brother, that sister. Madu adika to brakata, reke to azikata, mandori kashita brakate, asunde aprakataya kunda zikata, mandorobo izakata aparando kadu bratikata. Lord, show me mercy. Show my family mercy. Show my siblings mercy. Show my wife mercy. Show my children mercy. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we plead for mercy. We plead for mercy. We plead for mercy, Lord. Lord, we plead for mercy in the name of Jesus. Katoya kada rakata le barando azika tatara kunde shatabra kata le pasoko to ikada kata le kunda zika tarakata ya mandu adikata mandu akato azikata le parako shinte azubra di aparanta ya le derebo shata le kasuta makonde yes you can do it open your mouth ask for mercy cry for mercy whatever it takes madu prakata humble yourself jeko prakata reko Rekedo abadigada, makasoko robo shikata tarakata, rekede bolsunta azikata ta, rekedo ashata mando azikata, le kasoko robo shita kate Lord show me mercy, reko sinta rabakunde kata tarakata, rakose kero bo shita tarakata. You gonna open your mouth and pray for your country wherever you are. Jeko sikata if you're in America, if you're in Africa, whatever country that you represent, and need you to pray for mercy jakato adikata makato pray for the leaders of the nation where you are the nations of the world the christian community church leaders kadu our pastors our ministers the ministers of the gospel pray for mercy we know a lot is going on in the world we are today the enemy is seeking for souls to devour but the mercy of god is available i want you to plead mercy over your nation over your leaders in the name Name of Jesus, Lato Azikata, Brakato Asakata, your mercy triumphs over judgment, dear Lord. Madu Adikata, Kadu Brakata, every judgment, every accusation, every legal access we have given to the enemy, paradventure by the way we handle things in our life, by the way we have lived. Jaco Asita, Mantoro Ko Brakata, Father, by your mercy, we seal, we sever. That legal access by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Madi Adubrakata, Rekusikata. Lord, we plead for mercy over our nations. We plead for mercy over Nigeria. We plead for mercy over America. We plead for mercy over all the nations of the world. We plead your mercy over church leaders, the ministers of the gospel. Jakato Aparakata, Mandu Azikata, Marakosita Barakate. Mandorobo shatara kate asunde derekete kadu asikata aparandu ipadu katarakata. Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show us mercy. Show your people mercy. Jaka sopra kate asunde kadu prakata. Lord, show us mercy. Show your children mercy wherever they are crying out to you, Lord. Show mercy. Anybody who is in distress, who is in pain, who is suffering, who is suffering or afflicted. 
afflicted in any form or shape. Lord, we plead mercy. Kadu badi kadu prakata. Reko sinde ajikatu prakata tara kataya. Lebandu azikata. Marakunde adabrakata. Kadu satarakate. Shakatu aprande. Mazodori kata aparando kadi prakata. Shata aparando. Zekero bushita aparakunde. Mercy, Lord. We plead for mercy by the blood of Jesus. There is mercy, victory, power in the blood. Kaso kata adu prakata. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Ladi aprakato kata prakate. Shatara basunde azu kata Yes. Leko sinde rakata. Lord, we are nothing without you. We humble ourselves this hour. We cry out for your mercy over our nations, over our family, over our foundation in the Prakato, Shata Arakunte Zikata, Mandorobo Shitara Kata, Riku Sintara Bazundi Rikite, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and pray for your foundation. The word of God says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You see, it is very important that you pray with understanding because before you were even conceived, before you were even born, your ancestors, your forefathers, they did all the unimaginable things, especially if you are from a background where people are not born again. Glory to God. Bible talks about generational curses. Bible talks about ancestral curses. Bible talks about our foundation fighting believers. But there is one good news. Scripture says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. But I also want you to pray and plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of the mercy of God upon your foundation. Azopata reketo shato aparante makaso prakata open your mouth and pray. Zakato ashita makadu azikato brakata manto abrakate asonto toro bushikata. Lord, show my family mercy. Lord, show mercy to my foundation. Shakato brakata my ancestral lineage, my bloodline. Oh, zatare ko brakata. Rakusinte abrakadu shatara kata leparandu azikata. Lord, show my family mercy, my bloodline. Redeem us by your mercy for your name's sake, for your glory. Rakopata kata zorokunda shikata rabasunde rikete parakonto robushita. Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show my family mercy, my bloodline, my generation, my kadu, my foundation. Show me mercy. Show us mercy. Kadu bra. Katara kata, matatara bashete azunta brakate, reko sinte abradu azikatara kato, shatara panso koto ikata. In the mighty name of Jesus, zatora pashita, mande dero kosita brakata tara taya, lekondo brasika tatara kata, jakasunte. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, remember the scripture. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. Hallelujah. Now that you have prayed, mercy will begin to work for you. Mercy will begin to speak for you and your household. Mercy will begin to talk for you. When you cannot speak, mercy will speak for you. When you cannot defend yourself, mercy will defend you. Praise the living Christ. And so now, I want you to open your mouth and ask God for that favor in his word. We pray in the scripture. We pray in the word of God. Glory to God. And so, the word of God says, for the time to favor her, for the time, insert your name, put your name, whatever your name is, put your name, for the time to favor Kingsley. Yeah, the, the set time is come. Glory to God. It's not postponed. Glory to God. It's now. We live in the now moment. We live in the now season. So the time is now. Now that you have prayed the prayer of mercy, it's clear that God has answered that prayer. It's clear that his mercy is now readily available. So now I want you to cry for favor. Favor. 
Oh, praise the living Christ. Praise the living Jesus. Lord, we thank you for mercy. We receive mercy in the name of Jesus. We receive mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, now we pray for favor. Madu adikata, divine favor, as you have promised in your word. Jato adikato brakata, reko sinte abashita. You said the time, the appointed time to show us favor is now. Open your mouth and begin to ask for that divine favor. That favor is divine. Glory to God. That favor comes from above. You need to open up your mouth and declare favor. Declare favor upon all your endeavors. Declare favor upon your life. Declare favor upon your loved ones. Declare favor upon your spouse. Declare favor upon your children. God is not a man that he would lie or the son of man that needs to repent. He is God all by himself. He said he watches over his ways to perform them. As long as you believe. Scripture says to them that believe there shall be a performance. I need you to open your mouth and declare favor. Openly open your mouth boldly and begin to declare favor. Lord we concur with your words. We agree with your word. That the time to favor Kingsley is now. Insert your name in that scripture. Say for that time to favor Kingsley. Insert your name is now. The time to favor her. The time to favor that brother. The time to favor that sister is now. And Lord, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you for your mercy will speak to, for us, will begin to avail for us. Your mercy is available. Father, we thank you that your mercy will open doors of favor for anyone under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. You're thanking God for two things. As prayers answered. Glory to God. He is a covenant keeper. He says the effective fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. In other words, it produces results. Your prayers will produce results in the name of Jesus. I want you to thank him. And it is pleasing to God that you thank him that he has heard you. That you thank him in advance for your miracle. Glory to God. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for favor. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says God, Jesus grew in stature and in favor with God and with men. And so, Lord, we thank you because the covenant of favor is reactivated in our lives, even this moment, in the name of Jesus, that it will show appreciation. Receive all the glory and all the honor. Thank you, Lord, for mercy. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, glory to his name forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, King of glory, the ancient of days. I bless you, Lord. I lift up your name. Thank you, Father, for restoration. Thank you for lifting every satanic embargo by your mercy. Thank you for deliverance by your mercy. In Jesus' mighty and mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen.